Well, it's been almost a year since the city of Beaverton started using its red light cameras to catch drivers speeding through intersections. The city says they're making those intersections safer with drivers going slower because they know those cameras are there. But some drivers are avoiding tickets even if they speed. Fox 12's Simon Gutierrez joins us now in the studio with how and why that happens. Good morning, Simon. Good morning. State law actually mandates you can't ticket a driver using a camera unless they're going 11 miles an hour over the speed limit or more. And there are also ways that other drivers can walk away without a fine. They're going to be coming up on the right lane here. That's the vehicle right there. Officer Ryan Mills is the man standing or sitting between you and a speeding ticket. It's a Dodge. Looks like a Dodge Charger or Challenger. Reviewing still photos and video taken by the city's red light cameras, which are installed at four high traffic intersections. That the photo is clear, uh, the license plate is clear that it matches the vehicle. Since September of 2018, the Beaverton Police Department has been using the cameras also to catch and ticket speeders. We've had some folks that said, well, I, I didn't know that this was um, taking pictures for speed now. I knew about the red light, but I didn't know that it was taking pictures for speed. But not all speeders are seen the same. The cameras only go off if a driver is going 11 miles an hour or more over the speed limit. We never tell people that they can speed. Uh, they should be doing the speed limit, um, but that's our threshold is 11 miles over, that's when the, the camera will get triggered. And even drivers that do trigger the speed cameras could drive away without a ticket. For instance, if the driver is a woman and the car's registered owner is a man or vice versa, and they're not listed on the registration themselves. If I don't have the information to change the citation criteria so that we can mail out to the um, proper um, person driving the vehicle, then I just reject the citation. Officers say the cameras have overall had a positive impact and helped to slow drivers down. Just from what I'm uh, watching, I've seen the amount of violations actually diminish somewhat. Yeah, officers say the cameras are working. We wanted to find out what exactly that means. And tonight at 10, we'll go inside the numbers and show you just what kind of impact the cameras are having on traffic and speed. Guys? Oh, man, Simon, I'm very aware of those cameras. I'm scared <laughs> to death when I see them. Thank you.